What is the challenge in that run game, and what particularly gave you guys problems tonight? Um, I would say just the way they kind of run the ball. Um, with their scheme, basically what they're trying to do is block everybody down, crack the safety, and make the corner tackle, uh, get their running back in space um, into the field, um, which, which is a challenge. You know, that's a little bit harder for cornerbacks. That's not their world sometimes. Um, but that was just kind of what their scheme was. Was this a situation where you knew what they were going to do and they just did it and y'all couldn't stop it when it comes to the run game? Is that like how you felt or, I mean? Um, I was not an answer that. Like, you know, we came out there, I thought the guys played hard. Um, but hey, they, they're a good team, credits to them. They gave us, you know, a few wrinkles. Um, and then they were able to run the ball pretty well. Cedric, I saw you trying to, uh, it looks like, Looked up your teammates a little bit on the bench, but as the game went on, it, it, things didn't get better for you guys, and it seemed like some frustration boiled over. I mean, Tony and Noah at one point got into it. I mean, what should we kind of read into what we're seeing on the sidelines? I mean, yeah, as a leader, um, I just try to keep my guys motivated, keep us going. You know, um, throughout the games, we still had opportunities um, to get stops and, 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 and win the game ultimately. So that's what I was just trying to do. Um, motivate our guys to, to keep their heads up and keep going. Um, as far as the sideline situation, um, you know, guys are passionate uh, about the sport. You know, things got a little chippy, but, you know, we'll handle that um, in the team. So, what's the level of frustration with this defense, knowing or thinking that you guys can play better than what you showed over the past first four games? Uh, it's, it's very high. Very high. I'm very disappointed. Josh said that when Mac kind of went off on the official after the pass interference call on you, that he said that that kind of sent a message to him and to you guys that he's there's a lot of vitality there and, and support of you guys. And he said it's something that you guys can take with this moving forward. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I was definitely happy to see my head coach um, trying to defend me. Um, sure, it might have got us a penalty, but, you know, for the team morale, I mean, you, you like having your coach trying to have your back. So that is a positive that we can take from that moving forward. It surprised you that he got so animated? Honestly, no, we're not. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> so did, did the official explain what he said he did on, on the pass interference? No, I, I, I didn't ask him, and he didn't come up and tell me, so I, I'm not sure. Cedric, how do you deal with this disappointment? You said very hot, very hot, very disappointed. Like, how do you – Personally, you're one of the guys who leads this defense. They look to you like, is it, you know, do you go in there and try to scream the paint off the walls? I mean, what, you know, is it a bunch of individual conversations? Like, how do you try to approach this? I mean, like you said, obviously I'm, I'm very frustrated. Um, but I think another thing is, I mean, this is only our first loss of the season. You know, we, we still have a lot of games to play. Uh, we still got a lot more to look forward to. So yeah, I'm frustrated about the outcome tonight, but we got a lot to look forward to. And we just got to get back to the drawing board. We got to make whatever adjustments we got to make. Uh, we got to do whatever we got to do to get, you know, everybody on the same page so we can, you know, meet our goals for the rest of the season and, and, and win the rest of the games. So Dick, for a team like Notre Dame that's sort of historically known for pounding the ball the entire game, as a linebacker, do you sort of take note of that? And how does that impact the passing game? Um. Well, I, I think their passing game came, became a slightly a little bit different with the, with the backup QB. Um, I feel like, you know, and with their passing games, they were running a lot of, like, play action, boot type of plays, kind of get them out the pocket, um, get them some easy kind of throws. Um, but that, that, that's basically what's kind of going on with their passing game. But, I mean, as a linebacker, you can't get tired of, of fitting up the run. You got to fit it up all game. So that was just my mentality the whole game. I got to play until it says all zeros on the clock. And kind of going off of that with the play action, I think that there were a couple of miscommunications that led to some busted plays. What was the, I guess, sort of conversations that you've had, whether after those plays or after the game, related to those? I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously we, we point whoever it is out and we say, hey, you know. I mean, usually with, if you have busted coverage, I mean, you kind of know when you do it because, I mean, it's, it's busted coverage. Um, but, I mean, it's just rallying together to be like, hey, we got to be better. we got to have our eyes better so we don't bust coverage.
a good thing that Noah said what he said to Tony after the penalty there in the fourth quarter? What was the question? Was it a good thing that sort of Noah Taylor it looked like he confronted Tony Grimes? I don't know if that's the right word, but I mean, he looked like he had some words for him. I mean, is it I mean, a good yeah. thing that he's sort of checking him in that? I mean, I, I have no clue. We're just going to handle that with the team. I have no clue. All right. Appreciate it, sir. Thanks, sir.